Under powers conferred by the Universities Act and the University Ordinances, the University has determined that His Excellency Julius Madabio, President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, be awarded the degree of Doctor of Letters, the Terrarium Doctor, Honoris Causa of this University. The university notes your excellency's outstanding record of public service as a brave soldier, a daring patriot who initiated peace and pluralist democracy after a generation of repressive autocratic rule. As a visionary and transformational leader over the last five years, and as a key driver of irreversible, inclusive, and sustainable progress in Sierra Leone. In spite of harsh economic challenges and budgetary constraints brought on by, ox by oxygenous factors, you have not only capably managed the economy, but you have doubled energy access and access to portable water, constructed more public buildings, including schools and health facilities, built new jetties, new bridges, new highways and city roads, and a brand new airport. <laughs> Escalated mitigation and adaptation measures against the effects of climate change and established a national disaster management agency. And more. You have made extraordinary efforts, institutionalizing a peaceful democracy with functional and transparent associated peace architecture equipped and supported the security sector of uh, to carry out its constitutional mandate and invested in youth in a bid to foster just and peaceful society. You have opened up more democratic spaces and gained global acclaim for your fight against corruption. Your institutional and governance reforms, your progressive laws that have abolished the death penalty, <coughs> repealed obnoxious press laws, and expanded access to just and land ownership, your promotion and protection of women's and girls' rights, your social protection initiatives <laughs> for vulnerable populations, your vision for a food self-sufficient Sierra Leone. Your reforms of the business ecosystem and more. Your leadership at the continental level is evident in your very successful tenure. Just uh, thus far, for the chairmanship of the Africa Peer Review Forum and the Committee of Ten for the Reform of the United Nations. Sierra Leone's unanimous endorsement for a seat on the United Nations Security Council in the non-permanent category after over half a century and your co-chairing of global United Nations steering groups and summits on SDG and education. It is your visionary reforms in the educational sector that will have far-reaching impacts for sustainable and inclusive development. 
you have said the future of education will define the future and fortunes of the country and that education is good for personal development, good for community development, and good for inclusive and sustainable national development. So when opposition political naysayers ridicule and harangued about how impossible your vision was, you remained thoughtful, resolute, and you persisted. In spite of the straight jacket of financial constraints imposed by a pandemic and a global hike in fuel and food prices, you have introduced reforms in education that have impressed and inspired your peers, galvanized multilateral partners, and made the children of Sierra Leone the better for it. You have earned the enviable stature of a global champion for transforming education, produced the best minister in the world for education. And you are a high sought after, thought leader for making education matter for the future and fortunes of a small nation. With your leadership, national curricula at all levels have been reviewed to reflect five core competencies of comprehension, critical thinking, computation, creativity, and civic education. Your emphasis on fundamental learning has led to the establishment of early childhood learning centers across the country. Innovation, science, technology, and agriculture are at the cusp of this transformation. You have narrowed the digital divide at all levels with your increased access to and use of technology in education. With your use of information and communications technology, you minimized learning disruptions and losses even in the midst of a global pandemic. Students and parents now have immediate access through USSD to their transition exams. Supplemental material, in addition to nationwide free teaching and learning materials, are available through the use of technology in education. And the comprehensive national education data for is free is freely available to development partners, policy makers, citizens, and parents. Your governmental, your government provides free quality education for all girls studying STEM sciences from basic education to the end of university. The early signs are promising. This academic year, more girls enrolled in STEM, in STEM disciplines at universities across this nation than at any time in the history of this nation. This is progress. In a few years, we will have more women scientists, more women doctors, more women engineers, and more women innovators. Your gender equality and women's empowerment law, which mandates legal minimums for the participation and representation of women in the public and private sectors, is complemented and mirrored in kindred national educational policies and initiatives by the First Lady of the Republic that protect girls from sexual predation violence, and early marriage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
the most comprehensive safety in schools and communities that teach reproductive health and support menstrual hygiene with free sanitary pads nationwide that assure teenage girls who become pregnant that they will not be double victimized and that your government will ensure that parents learners will continue their education uninterrupted and in their learning outcomes and achievements those parent learners have dedicated your belief in and support for them in just two words radical inclusion you have told girls pregnant girls pupils in far to reach and far to reach rural areas children living with disabilities parents and citizens that everyone can and must be all he or she can be through education you have added millions of learners just yesterday the UK government supported Lewy Land Project announced that because of your leadership, 459,000 girls were enrolled in 2021 in Sierra Leone's public schools, compared to 255,000 in 2017, representing an 80% increase in just four short years. In two words, school feeding. You have provided healthy and nutritious meals for learners in deprived and vulnerable districts of the country. Retention rates have increased in those areas. In just two words, free education. You have removed the burden of school fees from parents and guardians who can now afford to send not just one, but all of their children to school to receive quality, fit for purpose education. In, first, in, in spite of the thought of the, in spite of the tough economic times, your commitment to school financing at 22% of national budget has not been done. And your vision and reforms have been holistic throughout the education sector. You have established, equipped, and provided nearly 2 billion euros in subvention to 10 government technical institutes in nine districts. You have disbursed another 107.7 billion euros to TVETs and businesses for demand-led risk, uh, risking and up, up skilling and upskilling. You have provided a 75% increment in staff salary at public tertiary institutions and awarded government granted aid to 11,454 students including persons with disabilities, postgraduate studies for health practitioners, the children of teachers who have taught for 10 years and more, children of persons who serve in the police, military and fire force. You have also negotiated the award of international scholarships to 533 students in 17 countries. Your belief in providing tertiary education students with the wherewithal to study science and technology in evident, is evident in the procurement of 570 iPads 
that have been distributed to six tertiary institutions. 440 Bluetooth projectors and screens and 440 magnets, magnetic whiteboards procured and distributed to public universities and colleges, of which Jalai University is a beneficiary. Procured laboratory equipment worth 1 billion lewis. And those have been distributed to two labs Biology, Cell Sciences, and Chemistry at University of Sierra Leone, and two labs, Physics and Chemistry at Jalai University. Because of your belief in universal access to tertiary education, you have provided 5.8 billion leons of seed money for the operationalization of the student loan scheme and advertisement for the first call of loan applications for postgraduate degrees for the 2022-2023 academic year is already out. In terms of institutional building, your work is unparalleled. You have upgraded two polytechnics to technical universities. Eastern Technical University and Mithilmagai Technical University with targeted and unique technical curricula that will cater for the technical needs of a developing nation. You have merged and upgraded Freetown Technical College, FTC, and Government Technical Institute, GTI, PC, merged to a polytechnic, now named the Freetown Polytechnic. You have also rehabilitated and equipped resource centers at five teacher training institutions. In the area of policy making and legislation, <laughs> you developed and launched the Education Technical Plan 2022-2026, the National Technical Vocational Education and Training Pivot Policy, the Student Loan Scheme. We could count, we could count your works on and on and on. Instead, kindly permit us to go to the last page and continue. Julius Madabiu, I call you this way because you are now one of us. Bona fide student of Jala University. You have been a patriot, a reformer par excellence, a transformative and visionary leader who has outstandingly demonstrated through his public service and leadership of this country that our best days as a nation are yet to come. For these and the many more things you have done, for infusing our great nation with a renewed and re revitalized sense of purpose, for restoring our faith that through education, inclusive and sustainable national development can be achieved. Jalai University takes great pride, therefore, in awarding you the degree of Doctor of Letters in Science. I now invite the Chancellor to do the ceremony in conferring the honorary degree.
By the powers vested in me, I award you the degree of letters honoris causa. Chancellors, principals and deputy vice chancellors, deans, professors, academic and administrative staff of Jalai University, representatives of staff associations, representatives of Jalai University Students Union, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Madam First Lady. here humbled but feeling really privileged to be accorded this very unique honor by a university that has contributed tremendously to the development of our beloved nation, Sierra Leone. This great nation has been kind to me. It has given me opportunities to lead it has inspired me to think critically about many challenges it has perpetually thrown on all of us. With the right mindset, right leadership, and right policies, I've been free to abide the transformation of the education sector over the last five years. As a young soldier in my 20s, I opted for the difficult choice of engaging sub-regional leaders to facilitate the ferreting out of the revolutionary United Front leader, Corporal Fodi Sanko. I know you all know him. I have initiated the peace process.
conducted democratic elections. Voluntarily retired from the military, handed over power to a civilian government, and left this country. Those who viciously argue that I had nothing to do with the birthing of democracy in Syria should ask themselves whether, after five cycles of election, Syria has ever looked back. I refer to this moment of our history that to usher in productive change and change of the fortunes of a nation, leaders must sacrifice their personal gratification and make bold choices by weighing cost and measuring abiding impact. The citation references the many things that we have achieved collectively as a nation in the field of education. Let me dare to say that what I am doing for education is simply an actualization of the dreams of a barefooted five-year-old boy from Tim. Encouraged by a mom who was never fortunate to attend school, yeah, I mean, to explore and participate in the life-changing nation-changing experience of education. It is the outcome of several hours of critical thinking about how we can get education right and reap the unceasing benefits, sustained and endless benefits for our nation. So the honor today is important, but the heritage I leave behind for generations of war learners and for this nation in particular, it's more important to me. And I will dedicate this particular degree to my mom. Who never was fortunate to darken the doors of any educational institution, or who understood and acknowledged the importance of education and forced me to go to school at all times and provided the support even when she did not have it all. I therefore humbly accept the honorary doctorate degree you have so kindly bestowed upon me, knowing that it is both a recognition of what I have done and a challenge for me to do more. Thank you. Our President, Dr. Julius Mala our revered guests of government, parastatals, local authorities, our dear community members, I am fulfilled with the honor to say a vote of thanks at the end of the ceremony. In this country, when it comes to saying anything concerning our president, Dr. Julius Madabu, we recall many things. We have to say thank you, Your Excellency, 
thank you to you and your team. We are certain that if the Roman governors, the Roman leaders had a team like you,